Hi, I'm Michael Zara, Senior Vice President of Operations and Strategy of Drone Delivery Canada. Our mandate is to commercialize Drone Delivery Canada, and we are currently well underway for full commercialization of the business. We've developed a comprehensive strategic plan, and we are now building out the team, infrastructure, and processes to effectively go to market and bring on new revenue generating customers. Our first customer is Moose Cree First Nation for $2.5 million per year. There are currently 1,000 remote communities in Canada, and our intention is to have a market penetration of 20%, or 200 communities, over the next five years. There are also a variety of government, commercial, and industrial logistics applications as well. Industries such as healthcare, pharmaceuticals, oil and gas, mining, agriculture, forestry, construction, and courier companies, which all present opportunities for us to further extend our growth. One of the benefits of our system is that it's airframe agnostic, meaning we are able to install our system on any airframe, which offers us the opportunity to make licensing our technology very much a part of the business model. Of course, another important benefit will be job creation and economic development to the community. It's a win for everyone, the Canadian federal government, the local community, and for Drone Delivery Canada. I'm Tim Strauss, I'm the Vice President of Cargo for Air Canada. We're at a really interesting inflection point in the industry now where the shipment profile has begun to change, customer profile has begun to change, business to business industry is uh, continuing to change. Drone Delivery Canada is in a perfect spot to take advantage of that. But what's important for the drone delivery segment of the business is that while it's doubling up overall, on the air transportation side, it's going up by 400%. So drone delivery is well positioned to take advantage of that marketplace, whether it's to remote communities in the indigenous peoples regions, whether it's with pharmaceuticals, diagnostic samples, blood tissues, they have that in their favor right now. And then as we begin to move closer into larger communities, as Transport Canada changes the regulations and we're out there, in a marketplace that says speed is what matters most and we want to get vehicles off the road. Drone Delivery Canada has taken a unique approach of while focusing on the vehicle as a delivery point, what's really unique to them is that they focused on the interaction with the air transportation, whether NAV Canada, Transport Canada, FAA and like organizations to allow them to set up the roadway systems in the air just like we have on the ground and to manage that distribution. Just a very few companies are gonna occupy that market segment. And Drone Delivery Canada is the one that appears to be two or three or four years ahead of the rest of the industry globally with what they're doing. These guys have nailed it, really took this apart and figured out how to do it, and they're, they're great. That's their value to the marketplace, that's their value that they bring to whether it's a FedEx, a UPS, an Air Canada, or any other business partners, they are uniquely in that position to be that facilitator of that consumer to consumer, business to consumer and return, parts of the industry we haven't even figured out yet. So I think from our perspective that Drone Delivery Canada has an opportunity to define this market segment differently than anybody else in the industry at this point. My name is Deepak Chopra and I serve as commercial advisor at Drone Delivery Canada. Uh, when you look at the transportation industry, it has traditionally divided itself in three big buckets. The first one being the first mile, typically from a warehouse to a sorting center. The second being the middle mile, that is typically either trucked or uh, air transportation or railway transportation. And the last mile is the delivery from the destination sorting station to a consumer's address or to a business address. Much of the risk capital has gone into last mile for urban communities. Uh, there are tons and tons of startups. Virtually all of the startups uh, with significant venture capital money have focused on last mile in the urban communities. If you think about the rural communities or northern communities, which are also kind of the last mile uh, solution, they remain underserved and frankly in some cases not served at all. And Drone Delivery Canada is doing something really unique. It is trying to address the problems 
in the, in the last mile logistics for rural and northern communities. These communities are underserved, or if they are served, they're served at a very high cost, which makes it very difficult for consumers in those communities to access and be part of the digital economy. Uh, being able to fly beyond visual line of sight through the regulations has allowed Drone Delivery Canada to do some of the early stage uh, commercialization in healthcare space. Working with Drone Delivery Canada is really exciting. Uh, I have spent uh, 35 years working with large brands and large corporate infrastructures uh, and it's exciting to work with entrepreneurs who are trying to solve problems that have not been solved before. And that's where the creative juices start flowing. That's where you're really at your best working with a bunch of people who are excited about this industry, who are excited about solving problem for underserved communities and doing it in a way that can pave the way for a whole new technology to prosper. So that's, that's really exciting. Drone Delivery Canada is proud to be at the forefront in shaping and developing the new landscape of cargo delivery. We look forward to accomplishing many new milestones in the year ahead. Drone Delivery Canada. Innovation is taking flight.